10.3 e factoring tricks the difference of force powers the square root of x to the fourth is x squared and with fourth powers we can use the difference of squares twice so let's see how this works okay so anytime we see the fourth power that's our indicator that we're gonna probably be doing difference of squares one of the things that we want to look at here is we're, we're looking is can I take the square root of both and the answer would be yes and we do have a negative here so we do have a difference so we want to start off by doing our two boxes put plus in one minus in the other and if you remember back in our example it said that the square root of x squared or x to the fourth I'm sorry equals x squared so that means the square root of a to the fourth is a squared and then we take the square root of 16 which gives us 4 now this first box gives us a sum of squares which is not factorable so that's just gonna stay just like it is we can't do anything with that but this in our second box we have a difference of squares so we're applying the difference of squares twice put plus in one minus in the other square root of the first term is a square root of the second term is two and you're done let's take a look at our second example okay again we have the fourth power so that's our hint that we are going to be or that we can do the difference of squares so we're going to put our two boxes okay put plus in one minus in the other square root of 81 is 9 square root of x to the fourth is going to be the x squared now the square root of 256 this might be one that you have to use your calculator on you probably wouldn't know it off the top of your head but you throw it in your calculator and guess what you would get 16 well in our first box we have the sum of squares we can't factor that so we just write that down in the second we have the difference of squares so we're going to put our two boxes put plus in one minus in the other square root of the first term is 3x square root of the last term is 4 and we are done